China continues its genocide and repression of predominantly Muslim Uyghurs and other religious minority groups. Since April 2017, more than one million Uyghurs, ethnic Kazakhs, Kyrgyz, and others have been detained in internment camps in Xinjiang. PRC continues to harass adherents of other religions that it deems out of line with Chinese Communist Party doctrine, including by destroying Buddhist, Christian, Islamic, and Taoist houses of worship, and by erecting barriers to employment and housing for Christians, Muslims, Tibetan Buddhists, and Falun Gong practitioners. Far too many governments remain undeterred in the repression of their citizens. It comes as no surprise that the People's Republic of China is a glaring example here. The PRC government continued to commit genocide and crimes against humanity, against Uyghurs, who are predominantly, predominantly Muslim, and members of other ethnic and religious minority groups. The PRC uses sophisticated emerging technologies, such as AI and facial recognition, to surveil and maintain control of its open-air prison in Xinjiang. Behind all the evidence and data, the many reports of deaths in custody, torture, and physical abuse, there are thousands of Uyghur family members. Daughters and sons are desperate to know where their parents are, but are terrified of what news they could discover and are wondering whether they will ever be safely reunited. The PRC government also continued its crackdown on Tibetan Buddhists. Authorities arrested, tortured, and committed other abuses against Tibetans who promoted their language and culture, possessed pictures and writings of the Dalai Lama, or practiced their religion at Buddhist monasteries.